Hey, today we're going to go over the basics. This will be real quick. I'm going to show you the basic building blocks for, that you're going to use to build everything else in the karate. It's going to be from the ground up. I'm going to show stances, kicks, blocks, and hand strikes. It's going to be all the things you're going to put together in combinations to make forms and one steps in your practical street self-defense. So it's like if you, make, you have Legos and you build things out of it, we're going to build things out of these building blocks. Okay, we're going to work on uh, all the stances first. Now in class, you're going to have a thing called a ready, ready position. When we're lining up for class, we're going to be standing like a soldier in line. We have a thing called ready position, which is like this, which is based upon a normal kind of stance. Most people are going to stand some way like this with their feet separated a little bit. People don't stand like this. They don't stand like this normally. Now, there are three basic stances. There are other versions of stances. The three basic stances are front stance, back stance, and riding stance. Front stance is an offensive stance. 70% uh, of your weight's on the front leg. Your feet are shoulder width apart. It's pretty long, the back leg is straight, the front knee is bent, so it's, you're really putting your weight on that leg, so you really can't see your toes. You're always gonna have your back straight. A front stance is long and it's forward, so it's going to the front. So that is a front stance. You can do a lot of things from there, like front kicks and blocks and punches from there. A back stance is a de primarily defensive stance, which is called blading yourself. You're gonna be a small target, turning sideways, putting a hard part of your body out. And both feet are in line, Making an L shape. Both knees are bent, it's about 60 40, a little bit extra weight on your back leg. A version of a back stance would be a fighting stance, you already know you gotta fight. So you're gonna be bladed like this. I have one hand back here, and another hand up like a shield. This could be a block, you could do a reaction punch, and it could be strikes here. Very good for a workplace environment, especially school, is a fighting stance with the hands up, open up like this, because everybody understands that means stay back, get away from me, you can still fight from there. Okay, so there's different versions of a fighting stance. You have a riding stance, which could be used at different angles. It's called a riding stance because it looks like you're riding a horse. Get down, really bend your knees, it's 50-50 weight distribution, and you're lowering your center of gravity down to the ground so it's harder to move you. So that's a riding stance. There's other kind of stances, those are the basic ones. Front, back, and a version of that was a fighting stance with the hands, and a riding stance. So those are the basic stances. They're very, very important to come into play with any kind of self-defense, jiu-jitsu, takedowns, kicking, driving somebody back, getting away from them, angling off. Stances are important in forms and one steps and everything you're going to do. All right, we're going to go over kicks next. We did stances, which is ground up. That's going to be stability, that foundation. Kicks is what makes karate karate. Everybody understands what karate is. It's a high stuff. Most opponents, most bullies, criminals are going to use their hands. 90% are fights, 90% or more are the bad guy using their hands. Probably not gonna kick you, and if they kick you, they're not gonna know what they're doing. So we're gonna have our longer, stronger weapon that we're gonna be able to use against the bad guy. So there's a bunch of kicks. We're gonna go over to some of the basic kicks because there's versions of all the kicks. There's a lot of different kind of side kicks, for example. Front kick is a basic kick. Anybody can do it because you can just kick somebody in the shin or the knee and have an effect. A front kick can be launched from any kind of stance, but we're gonna do it off a front stance. And anytime you're kicking, you want to get a muscle memory keeping your hands up. A lot of people tend to do this and kick and get off balance and throw their hands out. Get used to having your hands here. It's going to make better balance. Plus, you got a shield you can block and do hand strikes from there. So, I mean, your front kick is aiming the knee and you kick out with the foot, bring the knee back and set it back. Because if I kick out and drop it, I'm going into the person I'm not in control. So, I always want to be able to load and reload or chamber and rechamber. Front kick is going to be kicking with the ball of the foot. As you got hard shoes on, you kick with the toe, okay? You're aiming the knee, kicking, putting it out. So it's coming out, aims the knee, pops out from the knee, and it comes back. One good thing about one of the hidden movements in bringing up the knee for, for their load is, say somebody's charging at me and I want to kick, kick them, kick them, you can get them back. If they're too fast for me, at least I'm getting a knee strike in there. Because some people kind of kick like this from the ground, like they're just kind of kicking a, a little ball, you need to snap it out. So a front kick is coming from the front, goes out to the front and back. A round kick is a fast kick. A round kick's going to come around. It's aiming the knee like we did in a front stand, a front kick, but instead of the foot being underneath, the foot's on level with the knee. So a round kick is going to be like that. It's coming around. Some people call it a roundhouse kick. It's popping like that. I could kick somebody in the knee or in the leg if I needed to. So from here, Popping out like that. Front kick is this way. Round kick is coming around like that. 
Okay, and there's versions of that back leg and jump and all that kind of stuff. So round kick's aiming a knee, and you're probably going to kick with the instep, the shoelace area of the foot, like that. Okay. Side kick is a strong kick. That's the punch with your leg. So if I was going to punch, elbow goes back, fist is here, going to hit. That's what we're going to do on a on a side kick. That's going to be the knee. That's going to be the bottom foot, the heel. So instead of aiming the knee like we did in the front round kick. We're going to bring the knee back and aim the foot. So we're going to tuck in here like that and pops out like that. That's going to be the strong kick. That's where you can break the leg, kick somebody 10 feet away. It's got to be hitting with the heel. Toes are down hitting with the heel. A key to that is the pivot. Okay, Pivoting on that standing foot. So if I was going to round kick, I'm going to pivot on that standing foot. If I don't pivot, it tends to look like a front kick. If I pivot, it puts the hips in the right position for a side kick. Also, I have crescent kicks. Crescent kick is probably the only time you're really not going to bend the knee. It's all going to be from the hip joint. Crescent kick is going to be like a windshield wiper. Or one way or the other, clearing everything out of the way. You can use it as an offensive kick to hit somebody in the hands or whatever. It's also very good for a block if they're coming in to grab. I got a knife. I'm going to swing the leg around. Pop it around. Now, higher rank can kind of get a little bit of a snap into it. Basically, it's going to be from the hip. It's all this leg coming around. I'm going to do outside in or inside out. With practice from doing these things, kicking the bag and doing just forms of things, you'll get higher and better with these kicks. It becomes second nature to you, so you have to think about it. That just adds arsenal, adds weapons to your arsenal. If somebody's attacking you, they're going to be bigger than you, stronger than you, probably relying on their hands. And you're going to be able to use your front kick or side kick. Depends upon the position. So say it's a woman and she gets grabbed. She goes into the riding stance we talked about. She's in a position to pop a side kick out. Or I'm standing here and somebody's coming in and grabbing their close like this. It's kind of hard to get a, a kind of kick in there. But I can come around and do a round kick on their leg. Or if somebody's charging in. I've seen this become a cop. I've seen these people, cops do this, guys. Somebody's charging in. They get back. Boom, you drive them back with a good front kick. Basic kind of kicks. And uh, that's going to give you the strong weapon, the strong, long weapon against your opponent.